Hi guys, suppose every day you have to go to office at 10 am. And every day before going to office, you have to prepare your own breakfast as well as iron your clothes and you have to take your car out of your garage. All these small tasks waste lots of your productive time. What if you have a robot which will take care of all this stuff for you? Now you can use your morning time more productively. Constructor is like a robot. In programming, we create an object of a class. A constructor is called automatically when an object of that class is created. A constructor is mostly used for initializing the object. Don't worry, till the end of this video you will completely understand the concept of constructors. Step 1. How to create a constructor. The syntax of constructor is too easy. Just write the name of your class, then round braces and that's it. So this is how we create a constructor. Points to remember. Constructor name and class name are the same. And constructor doesn't have any return type. Now what is a default constructor? A constructor with no parameters is called as default constructor. We can write code inside default constructor or we can keep it blank. What if I created a class without any constructor? For example, let's take a class demo. So if the constructor is not provided, compiler inside one default constructor. Now what are parameterized constructor? Constructor with at least one parameter are called as parameterized constructor. For example, this is a class website with a string name. When a parameterized constructor accepts a string, the string is assigned to the string name. So this is a parameterized constructor. But when we create a parameterized constructor, compiler will not insert default constructor automatically. We have to write default constructor code. Ok, all this stuff is too confusing. For better understanding, first we need to understand how constructor are called. Remember, for every object, one constructor is called. Now case 1, we have a default constructor. For this object, the brackets are empty, that means a default constructor will be called when this object is created. Now case 2, we pass one string, so for this object, a parameterized constructor accepting a string is called. How many parameterized constructor we can create? And the answer is as much as you want. But parameter of every constructor should be different. This is error because both are accepting one integer type value. This one is allowed. This one is again allowed and this concept is called as constructor overloading. Even the sequence change is allowed in constructor. Let's understand all this stuff practically and learn more awesome stuff. Here, I have created a default constructor. Let's add some print statement in it and run. As you can see, I just created one object and default constructor is called automatically. Now the only thing I want you to understand about a parameterized constructor is sequence.
So this is always an error because they are accepting same data types. It means that both these constructors are identical. If I change any one of them then we will not get any error. So I am changing a integer data type to float. Okay, let's create another object which we'll call our parameterized constructor. Now I'm passing five and ten. And five and ten is printed because of this constructor get called. Guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you. Like code archery Facebook page and join our group. You can also support me on Patreon. And if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing.